Eugene, upon hearing about the missiles launched at a U.S. air base, many feared another war. Now, I spoke with associate professors at Illinois State University who specialize in Middle Eastern affairs who say this conflict goes much farther than just the two countries. The United States has more than 60,000 troops surrounding Iran in the Middle East. Tensions rose when President Donald Trump ordered a drone strike to kill Iranian General Qassem Soleimani. That was answered four days later with a missile strike on two U.S. military bases in Iraq. This had some Americans asking, is war ahead? Congressman Ronnie Davis doesn't think so. I don't see that happening. I see a defensive posture from the United States of America. Though this wasn't the beginning of recent tension between the countries, on New Year's Eve, protesters attacked the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad. The United States is not going to stand for our embassies being attacked, and I'm certainly glad that the Iranians and the missiles they fired yesterday led to zero casualties. Dr. Yusuf Sarfati, associate professor of politics and government at Illinois State University, says the tensions go beyond U.S. and Iran borders. Is kind of a part of a larger struggle in the Middle East for regional hegemony between Iran and Saudi Arabia that has been going on for a long time. And while these tensions are happening overseas, Dr. Riyaz says it will have effects on Americans right here at home. It has already affected the oil prices, and it should continue to do so because it is creating an uncertainty with respect to the, the, uh, the flow of oil. And then already we saw that one previously as well because of the you know, sanctions that has been imposed on Iran. Congressman Davis says the future between the U.S. and Iran is unpredictable, but he says now that General Soleimani has been taken out, American soldiers and American citizens are much safer.